Hi everyone, it's Paula, Empty Nester at 40. Welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a mixed haul of items that I purchased at the Dollar Tree, at the Target Bullseye Playground, and at the Goodwill. Now, these are all small hauls, but I did want to share the items with you and hope that maybe you can find them yourselves or get some ideas if you see similar items at your local stores. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the Dollar Tree haul. So I purchased two books. Uh, I, I'm not a big reader, I will be honest, but it's one of my goals to start reading more um, and to purchase books that are a dollar. I know I can go to the library as well, the public library, and I do do that every now and then. Um, but I thought it'd be great if I picked up some books. So this is the first book. And this is the second book, The Prometheus Man. So I hope they're good reads. Um, I obviously read the summaries and they interest me. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons why I don't read um, as much as I probably should is because the book really has to capture me in the story in order for me to stay interested in continuing to read. All right, so the next items that I got from Dollar Tree are, I picked up two of these little ceramic pumpkins. I decided that I would go with the more neutral tones for my fall decor this year. So um, these are perfect because uh, they won't require any painting. I I'll be honest, I probably will paint this um, stem of this one because gold is just not um, something that I'm really um, interested in. So I'll probably paint it brown, but it's not a big deal. And then I also picked up one of these little guys. Again, the neutral color and a plus is this one doesn't have glitter like the other ones do. And then some non-crafting items that I picked up that I'll share is, actually, I shouldn't say that. They're, they are crafting items. I'm going to try to craft with them. We'll see what happens. Um, I picked up these cotton swabs, but they're thicker. They have more cotton on the little swab part, and that's the part that I'm going to look at using, not necessarily the stick part. I picked up a, another pack of cotton balls. Um, for anybody that's been watching my channel, I've done a few DIYs with uh, making little cotton ball wreaths or cotton ball stems. So um, these are great because they're on a, the smaller size. Um, so they're great to use for those projects. And for non-crafting, uh, I picked up this shower cap. I, I actually saw it in someone else's haul. I believe it was Jay Money's channel, um, and she opened it and it was a good size. I fell into the trap of buying the smaller ones and I haven't been able to use it because it doesn't fit my head. Um, and I don't think that I have a big head, but it doesn't fit. So she opened this one and it was a larger size. So I was excited to find this one at my Dollar Tree. And then, I'm on the computer eight to 12 hours a day with my job. And I, the computer screen obviously impacts my vision sometimes. So um, I picked up these uh, readers, they're blue light readers. And the prescription on them is actually zero. You'll see at the top right there. So they're literally used for viewing screens to help with the elimination of the glare onto your eyes. So I have a pair that I keep at home and I have a pair that I keep in the office and unfortunately the pair that I keep at home, um, one of the little um, legs actually broke off. It wasn't that I even lost the screw, it actually broke off. So, And then I picked up just a little cover for it just so that I don't um, scratch them so that I can keep them as long as possible. I know for a dollar that's a lot to ask for, but you never know. Sometimes things do last long. Okay, the next is items that I picked up at the Goodwill. 
So I picked up this Bertha pillowcase that says love you to the moon and back. And it's really going to be hard to see the whole thing, but it's just the cutest pillowcase for a dollar. Now I have things around my house that say love you to the moon and back. Um, so it's definitely a saying that we use. So I thought it was a great pick. The next item I picked up was these pumpkins and the little um, floral beady berry things. It was 99 cents. I couldn't pass up on here. There is one, two, three, four, five, six pumpkins. And even though I'm going on the neutral color, I can paint these. And again, it was 99 cents. So I couldn't pass up on it. It was a great deal. I also picked up these little uh, pots. They're small on the smaller side. They're a metallic and they're brown and they were a dollar ninety nine but I picked them up on fifty percent off day so they were a dollar for two of them and I just want to show you what I have in vision for them. So I spray painted it white. This is the same pot. I spray painted it white and this little floral I picked up at Walmart a few weeks back. I actually had an Instagram live where I talked about it. I got it for 30 cents. So I literally, this is what the floral is. It's just a piece of foam. It has some greenery. It has some burlap and it fits perfectly in this little pot that I bought that I painted with white chalk spray paint. And look how cute that looks for this right here cost me 80 cents, maybe a dollar I'll, I'll round up because of the spray paint. But like I said, the little greenery floral was 30 cents at Walmart on clearance. Go check it out. Maybe your Walmart still has some. These little tins I bought at the Goodwill, so it's a hit and miss. Obviously, if yours will have something similar. And I got them on 50% off day, so I got two of them for a dollar. So again, this is what I purchased two of these in this darker brown color. You can leave them that color, it's a nice color. And I just spray painted it, put one of these florals in, and this is what I made. Really cute. Okay, I think that's all I got from the Goodwill. It was small, like I said. Now, oh, I forgot, I actually went to Michael's and I picked up some paint. And I wanna share this paint with you guys before I go into the Target um, bullseye playground hall. Um, so this paint was not 87 cents. It's the smaller containers, but I think it's a great value, especially if you are looking to maybe try different colors and you don't want to buy the bigger containers. This was, and this is the reason why I bought so many of them because some of the colors were just like yes, I want to try that color. And for 87 cents, it's a great deal because they are chalk paints. That's something that I wanted to mention. It's not the acrylic that you can buy, you know, 50 for 50 cents at Walmart or at your local craft store. The, these are actual chalk paints. So at least here, the chalk paint of this size normally goes for $1.99. So I got this, it's called New Life. It's Americana Decor Chalk Finish. And here is the color. This might be a little bright for whatever I may use it for, but, oh, it's not really focusing, but. Oh, there it goes, okay. <laughs> okay, and I'll try to go through these quick. Like I said, I purchased a lot of them. This is a primitive. Again, this is a chalk Americana Decor as well. This one is a chalk and the color is, oh, Restore. This might, might be a really nice one. It's like a brown, but a lighter brown. I'm trying to do these quick. <laughs> this is called Vintage. It's Americana Decor as well. This is a really pretty color. This actually might be a color that I might be using for my neutral fall. This is called Rustic. Again, it's another chalk from Americana Decor. 
This is just a deeper brown. It looks like it has a little bit of reddish to it. This one is called Yesteryear. I love the names of some of these. Now this one looks like it's a gray, but it looks like it's a gray with a hint of like a, a brown or something to it. I'm not exactly sure. If you look at the top of it, if it ever focuses, there we go. If you look at the top of it, it does look like it's more of a brown, but if you look at the bottle, it looks definitely like it's more of a gray. And then this one was a f home folk. This is called Java. So it's definitely a darker brown. You can't really, they don't have the, the coloring on the top. Home stretch people. This one is called Bavarian, so it's more like a yellow tone. Again, this is one that I may or may not ever use, but for 87 cents, I thought it would be great to have in my stash. This is called Relic, so this is a deep, like a gray, almost black. Great, beautiful color, I think. This one is Antique Wax. Now, I've never had a wax. This is by a Folk Art Home Decor, um, but I've always wanted one, so I'm really super excited to try this one. Again, this was 87 cents. This is um, Turkish Tile, so it's like a deep blue mixed with turquoise. Okay, and then this last one, comment down below because I've never heard of this until I went to the paint section and I'm looking and I'm like, what is pickling wash? This is a folk art pickling wash cottage white. Again, 87 cents, couldn't pass up on it. Plus, what's a pickling wash? Check it out. It really does look like it's a an antique rustic beige with a little bit of gray in it. Um, let me know down below in the comment section if you've ever used pickling wash paint. So that's it for the paint from Michaels. Check them out. They may be on sale at your local Michaels as well. Just never know. All right. Um, I also picked up really quick, I forgot about these. They're little tags, little wood tags from Home Depot for $1.80. You get five wood tags. They're different sizes. I think two small, two medium, and one large come in the pack. These are great for Christmas time. Very cute. Or any holiday if you want to like do a monogram when you um, give a gift to someone. All right, last but not least, my Target Bulls Eye Haul. I picked up this decorative paper roll that is in a wood grain. So this was $3. I was super excited about this. I actually saw someone else haul this. I can't remember, it was Caitlin, I think. Um, I'll link her channel below. Um, but she had this in a haul and she actually used it in one of her DIYs and I was so impressed as to how it looked, um, how realistic it looked. I picked up one of these little towels and it looks like it just has that black and white check to it. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with it. DIY maybe, we'll see. I picked up two of these metal hanging bins and these I think that I can actually, they were a dollar and I think that I can actually um, use these in actually the decor that's, oh, Moved everything. The decor that's right behind me. This, if you haven't seen my video yet, check it out. I'll link it below. Um, maybe I can use it in one of the hang it in one of the wires, um, chicken wires. I also picked up two of these. They're metal clips. I got them in black and in white for a dollar. You get six of them. I thought these were a good deal. I know that you can get them at um, the Dollar Tree as well, but the ones that you can get at the Dollar Tree, I think are a little bulkier because they're the magnetic ones. These actually aren't magnetic. So if I had screws, um, 
I could just put screws in, you know, like a, a, I have an idea for a DIY on this where it's um, Pinterest inspired. Actually, it's at home inspired, inspired. My husband saw something. He's like, oh, that's really cool. So I'm going to try to recreate it. And the last thing that I picked up was this little welcome wood sign from the Target Bullseye Playground. Um, this is great for my tier trays. As you can see, I love decorating my tier trays. Um, because it looks so cute. All right, that is it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're able to find these items in your local stores and until the next DIY.